Our next guest started out with a smart kettle, moved on to a smart coffee maker, and now is revolutionizing our refrigerators. We're going to find out how he's doing that with a very cool announcement here at IFA. The global head of sales for Smarter, awesome company name too, is Stephen May. Stephen, welcome back into tomorrow. How you doing? Oh, wonderful. Thanks, Dave. It's great to be here. And I'm just stoked of how well we've done the first couple of days of the show, yeah. and share it, sharing our technology with everybody that's here. I always judge how good a show is by asking exhibitors, how is it going for you? And you and you sat down saying very, 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 very good. And I thought, wow! Now that's an endorsement. I don't. I don't think the IFA people paid you to say that. You're having a great show because what you're introducing here is truly, I think, going to revolutionize all of us as consumers and the ability to know what's in our fridge, I guess. Huh? We, we made an unprecedented start across the refrigeration industry, mm -hmm. mainly because at the start of the show, we announced a partnership with Liebherr, the German manufacturer of fridges, and they launched their smart home product with the fridge cam inside their units. So ah. what it gave us was an instant footprint from a traditional German refrigeration manufacturer yeah. that suddenly, for the first time ever, linked with a startup, which was us, and announced at the show. What that created was a yeah, slightly shocking industry revolution where every manufacturer within the fridge sector suddenly went, wow, we had no idea this. We've been working on it for years. There's been time, money, energy spent uh, in development and technology. And suddenly a startup from London uh, with a small crew rolls in and makes a massive impression. Go figure, right? So, I mean, up to now, it seems to me that, uh, that folks, in order to be able to see what's in their fridge, had to do one of two things. Either be in front of the fridge or send someone over to ask what's in the fridge or do we have enough milk or what else do I need or that sort of thing. Or I guess a third thing is spend a fortune at buying a brand new refrigerator, the few that are on the market, that have a camera built into the refrigerator. Yep. And then maybe access it on your, on your phone. But other than that, you had no way of knowing, which, you know, if you live alone and you're out in the grocery store, say, oh, my gosh, do I need milk? How much? How many eggs do I have? What yep. do, you have no clue. And you either you overbuy or you say, now nah, I must have enough, and you get home, and you didn't. So the real, <laughs> the real simple one is just imagine that globally because yeah. we're all looking at it as one person. So for us individually, we, run, we don't know what's in our fridge right now. So what I we don't. have is a camera that you can put inside. <laughs> Every time you close the door, it takes an image. That image is then pushed to your phone. But every single thing that you wished could be done with that image and with the contents of your fridge, we've done it. So we start like with- Like for example, I mean, that's kind of an interesting statement. Uh, every single thing I wished could be done. Yep, <laughs> every single thing to do with the fridge. So what, what happens? You arrive home for the first time, you load up your refrigerator, you put your stuff in. As you close the door, the camera takes a picture. We use advanced visual recognition to identify all of those items. So what we're doing is color, light, shade, and texture. Mm -hmm. So we can look at those in a fixed environment, in a fixed lighting system. So we're able to recognize those, and that's the piece of magic that we did. We then develop it further so we can identify those items. We work with the supermarkets around the world. In each country, we pick the top three. We then work with their APIs and their uh, platform to see what products they have online, understand what they are, get the 3D data from those. So wow. we can. We, the imagery at the beginning is looking at it and thinking, oh, the uh, system looks and thinks, oh, that could be this, and says, is this this? And you, yes, yes, yes. And yes, it, it is the jar of pickles. But we have it, something it called accelerated intuitive learning. Sounds cool. What it does is it's based on you, not the world. Okay, so you put it in for over 14 weeks, you'll go to three or four different stores, you'll be putting relatively the same stuff in, different positions, mm -hmm. those images are captured for you, and then we begin to map that product as well as the stored data. So now what happens is you go home, all you've done is you put tomato, tomatoes, tomatoes, you put them in, <laughs> <laughs> you put them in, they have nine days from the top. So the countdown starting, nine days, two days before, ba ding, Dave, you need to use tomatoes. Before so they go bad. Bef yeah. ah, ah, best, best before, that's you're the key. Right, right, right. So now we also know in your fridge you have minced beef because we've recognized it. You've said, yes, it is. You also have onion maybe. So what we do is we have something called a smarter chef. So we make a suggested recipe based on what's in your fridge. Okay? That's awesome. So now you arrive home, you're like, hey, oh, I need to use them yeah. so I don't throw them away. Staggering number, okay, in the U.S., Every household throws away an average of $2,000 per 
per year of food. Now, why would you pick just the U.S.? Of all the countries, uh, yeah, but uh, let's face it, uh, we yep. unfortunately have those kind of stats. So. In, you, in, in the U.K., the average is around 750 euros. Wow. So, 750 euros. That's because smaller. Oh, yeah. 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 We were, smaller. We, 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 were, the, we were the prices. original Brexit. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh, but I get you. And, and not only can you then determine what we should use in a recipe scenario, but it's more than just taking a picture, which these very expensive refrigerators are just going to take a picture or look into the to the so, fridge. So now what it does is it links the other pieces. You take yeah. it out, it can push that information directly to your online shopping. You can order it automatically, or you can say at the end of the week, Friday, yes, 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 no, to those different items. You can also recognize and remember new items. So you have grandma's cheese that you may get. She put it in, recognize it, and then use it. And this is the device that That's I'm holding exactly up now and showing, and you put this how in the refrigerator? It goes inside your door and then okay. faces into your camera, like uh, into your fridge like this. Yeah. You position it, you look on your smartphone, you get it in exactly the right position to see the whole of the fridge, all the edges, and you press confirm and it stays there forever. Every now, time you open and close it, it's yeah. taking the picture, you can see it on your phone, you arrive at the store or you're out, sh out driving around and it says, Dave, you need to buy milk. Tomatoes. A little USB Thanks. charging port. So how often do I need to charge it? Uh, about once every 16 weeks. Oh, not a problem. And will it probably remind me that it needs a charge? Absolutely. Ha, it of will. course it will. <laughs> you there's, got no that answers in, there's no no answers in this interview. Uh, I it's love all it. yes, yes, yes. I love it. And uh, But now what if I need to see what's in my door? So this is looking second, from the door. There's a second camera okay. that you can put in to cover that, but it only takes an, uh, the amount of food stored in that area is less than 15% of the total contents of the fridge. Yeah, very true. Yep. It's, it's small, but it, that's usually where I need to see the milk. How that's full is it? <laughs> yep. Or something. Yep. Available now? Uh, available from the 26th of October in the UK, and uh -huh. then we'll go into November and December. We'll launch in Best Buy in the US in the new year. Okay, and how, for how much? Uh, retail price in pounds is 149, euros 199. Um, and, and US, US dollars, one ninety nine dollars. One hundred ninety nine dollars. Yep. So each camera. Yep. All right, but look at the money we're going to save in not letting food go bad, in not going back and forth for the grocery store because we forgot something because we didn't know we had it or not had it. Two thousand dollars of waste you can minimize for an yeah. investment of two hundred. Ah, loving it. Smarter dot am. Uh, like a smarter morning. <laughs> Smarter am. We'll get you there when you visit us at intotomorrow.com. Stephen, great to have you on the show again. Keep making cool stuff because we want to talk about it. Not only the smart kettle and the smart coffee maker, now our fridge is smart thanks to smarter.am. Thanks for joining us here at IFA. Thank you, Dave. We're back with more as Into Tomorrow continues. I'm Dave Graveline. Don't miss a minute of today's show. Two weeks' worth of coverage from IFA in Berlin, Germany on the Advanced Media Network.